We're putting millions of joints in patients right now. If you extrapolate out to the year 2030 and look at the aging population, we'll be putting in many millions of knees and hips in the not too distant future. And one of the problems with these implants is sometimes they get infected. And when they get infected with various organisms, not only can they cause a local infection, but they can also stick to the metal themselves. And when they stick to the metal, they form what's called a biofilm. When this happens, these infections are very difficult to treat. As a physicist, there were tools that we had in our sort of bookshelf that could heat the surface very quickly and uh, in a very localized fashion. And, and Dave saw that as an opportunity to target you know, these biofilms. What you're watching here is a thermal image showing the heating on the surface of this implant that I have in my hand when it was inside our coil and we exposed it to the magnetic field. And so you could imagine this was in the body uh, and there, were bi there was a biofilm on the surface of this implant. The bacteria would be exposed to heat that we believe would be sufficient to eradicate it. We think we have parameters where we can try to selectively and rapidly heat up the surface of the metal without having a lot of the heat escape to neighboring tissue. This approach is very similar to anyone who has an induction range at home. If you have an induction stove and you turn it on and you put your hand on it, you don't burn yourself at all. It's only if you put something that can conduct those magnetic waves like your pot. And if you touch the pot, you burn your hand. You can imagine it would be not hard to put a leg through a device like that. It could even wrap around the leg. But in the case of the hip, you could easily wrap coils around the pelvis. In the case of the mouth, the dental implant, you could potentially put a coil around the teeth or from outside of the jaw. So magnetic fields, one of their beauty is it passes right through us. We really don't impede a magnetic field. So as long as you can get the magnetic field source, this coil close to the object, it will interact. Our goal from a treatment point of view is if you unfortunately have an infection, can we use this technology with antibiotics to prevent ever having to remove the prosthetic device and undergo multiple surgeries?